I knew he played well because he's, he's one of them players what doesn't give a damn about anybody, you know what I mean? He isn't scared about anybody, so uh, I knew he played well and he did as well, God bless him. But tonight's going to be a different game. Keith's a lot more experienced and uh, he's on a high at the moment, so I've got to really play well tonight to beat Keith. Well, Phil's obviously the, the, the hot favourite, not just to beat me tonight, but to win the tournament. But at the end of the day, you know, I never go up thinking I can't win. The bottom line is I'm playing the best player in the world, but if I can up my average from, say, 92, around about 97, 98, you know, then I'm going to be in with a chance as long as I keep me finishing. You know, I've still got some really big finishes under pressure. And uh, tonight is no exception. I'm just going to go. I'm not one of these that's going to walk up and think I can't win. I'm going there to win and get into the semi-finals. One man looking for his ninth world title. Another looking for his second to take you through this one. Sid Waddell and John Gwynn. First up, your master of ceremonies, Phil Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Circus Tavern as we come to the last of our quarterfinal matches of the Skull World Dust Championships. Introducing the 1983 World Champion, still a big name in darts because he is a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Keith Della! And the power, the reigning World Darts Champion, the undisputed King of Darts, Bill Taylor! Johnny Quinn are lined up, expecting like a couple of whippets. Askew is through, Part is through, Harrington's through, the power is now trying to take Della. Look at those odds. Ten on wins you a pound. Be justice. Then beat Fitton for dig. Fitton scare him early doors, John Quinn. Looking again, his ninth world title come about 10 o'clock Wednesday night. But Never underestimate this fella. Yes, dynamite, but he rarely blows up Keith Della. A tremendous, tremendously uh, admired character, as you heard. I thought in that extremely articulate uh, statement by John Part. The, start, the uh, championship starts, tell you, and it doesn't surprise anybody to see that Bill Taylor's well up there, 95.79. But look at the ton pluses from Della. Yeah, that scoring power, John, could come into it. The scoring power of Della. Would have to emphasise, though, that Della has played 47 legs this week. Taylor has made just 29. And the nine dart finish, six perfect darts a few minutes ago from John Part. Couldn't rattle off the one four one to finish it off. But when Taylor's around, you never know. And Taylor, Adela has seen one at close range, hasn't he? Well, John Gwynn and me both excited. We're getting our Nailers and Dellas mixed up. But we'll calm down now because excellent point that John's just made. We cannot blink or sip our drink when Taylor's up there. He's thinking about the nine dart. I think he's got over the emotion of being up there, being announced to go up the palace. He's been set. nervous in the start of the last start. Uh, well, I don't know whether Taylor has given Della the darts. He usually wins the ball and gives the darts away. Not that it. Uh, well, it does matter, but I don't think it's... 100! Really ...as much where you've got a tie-break at the end anyway. But all players, if they win the ball, apart from Taylor, would say, I want to throw first in the first set. Lovely stack of dart there. He's got plenty of room. Oh, 16th of an inch, starting with a max. 
It's the best of seven sets, four sets, and you book your seat in the last four of the Skull World Championship. Della is looking very sleek and elegant. And the power. Uh, Della will calm Taylor's passion. Oh, yes, well, he won't drive through to the 60 there. He comes for cover. And interesting to see a little piece of the paper, Posh Paper, the Independent. He used to be a weightlifter. For six years from 19, Taylor was pumping iron. Well, a uh, weight on his mind, Keith Deller. I wonder how much of a weight. No, I think Taylor's One hundred and forty! I like it. Somebody's found space enough for the truth and to be to told. And there's the perfect stack here, you see. He leaves one just below and slides them in. Sixty! Forty-five! <laughs> Now, Della won't like that, so he will cover the treble 19. 58. You know, Sid, since Phil Taylor lost at Blackpool World Match Play in 1999, he has played 20 consecutive matches on the Sky Sports screen and won them all. He's looking for his 21st tonight. Somewhere the bubble has to burst. Somewhere. Can it be tonight? Well, 94. I've got to say this, that for about 50% of his first game against Justice and for about 40% of his second game against Fitton, he looked 97. less than on colour. But sad for Della, I don't see any signs of weakness coming out at the moment. That's a poor dart though, 46, wasting a dart, Topsy needs. And wasted a dart there. And you Phil cannot afford to do that against Taylor. You've got to really make every single one count. Here we go then. Double 12. Game shot in the first leg. Phil Taylor. On those stats we showed you earlier, Della, like Richie first. Burnett, is a tremendous scorer. But if the power has got the all-round game, particularly the doubles, this could be short and sweet for everybody but Keith. Look at that beautiful adjustment to the 60. Well, we know Taylor is a special thrower. Uh, I just have a feeling, and it, it's nothing more than a gut feeling, that we're going to see something a bit special tonight. I'm not saying the nine dart is going to go. That can happen, actually, that, that sort of thing will happen when you least expect it, not when you most. But I just have a feeling that Taylor means business. He does always, of course. But I just, look at this. There's a, there's a, the way he starts to go into the board, his demeanour, he looks super cool and confident. As Already so. averaging just over 96, although it's very early to get a sample. And if he's averaging 96 now, he could be averaging 105 by the end of the game. So Dalek cannot miss doubles, and Dalek cannot lay off the score and pedal. I think we can sit back and watch a master at work. I really do. I think this is going to be special. He looks... Uh, I was going to say thumbs up, but it's the wrong word. He looks as relaxed as a leopard who hasn't had an antelope for a week or two with chips. Della will be great tonight. Will you require 121. Taylor really does get going and he takes some living with. Really does. He's very relaxed in the practice room, John. He was even cracking jokes. Taylor, he looks really composed. 81. To leave 40 after just 12 darts. Here he goes Phil then to go further ahead. Uh, Taylor one stops. Two tens. Game shot in the it's second. Looking off the ominous, Mrs. Della. That is suffocatingly a chip fan. Third leg is Keith to throw first. Game on. I'd like to mention Norman Wells of uh, of the local Romford League. Successfully playing darts after having two legs amputated and still running the league. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. That really is. 
I know there's a joke in there, but uh, it, it re really said that is tremendous. That really is. And I'll tell you, I'd like to mention since you're mentioning names. 100. Uh, European. He's on the European golf circuit. Professional golf player. You've heard of him, John Bickerton. He's out there in Spain. Keith was saying. He shares a sponsor with him, and he was watching last night out in Spain. We sometimes we do forget that. There are hordes of people out in places well beyond these shores watching these pictures and really enjoying Keith's game the other night, uh, two nights ago it was, when he beat Richie Burnett. So oh, look at that, two in his books. I think Dylan could have an early fast if the power's going to keep this up. Yes, he's good. Keith in the groove in the slot. Fars are not going to be enough tonight for Keith, are they? He's going to have to get a few birdies and albatrosses. Taylor averaging a, Taylor's averaging 104. And he's going like, I was going to say a train, but <laughs> they don't go too good. <laughs> ah, brilliant. That's, uh, this is brutal. brutal. <laughs> Taxi for Della. Ambulance for Della at this rate. I mean, let's be honest, Taylor's average 94 against Nigel Justice, 97, 97 against Les Finn. It's going to be a three-figure average tonight, I feel it in my bones. Two sixteens. Game shot in the first set. 107.36, the first set, Taylor's coasted it 3-0. The Della fella really has to show something extra special to stay alive. Heart is a blue Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room 